Hey folks, Day Hiker from The Six here. I'm at Keith's Trailer Sales in Erin, Ontario again. Big shout out to Keith and the team for putting this trailer in this great spot for me. Uh, we're gonna go a little quick today because it is darn cold up here in Canada. We're just hovering around the freezing mark. And today we're looking at the 2024 Sunset Park RV Sunlight 19BH LTD. This is an awesome little trailer. Caught my eye when it popped up on Keith's website because it's got that great combination of low price and low weight. And it's also a very versatile trailer. It's a bunkhouse. It sleeps up to six. I think a few of those six would be small people, but nonetheless, very versatile. Be a great family trailer and great for somebody who's maybe got your 5,000 pound towing capacity type of SUV, like a Toyota Highlander, Grand Highlander, a Nissan Pathfinder, that kind of thing. So we're gonna do our standard tour. We're going to tour through the outside first and then we're going to tour through the inside then we'll of course go through the three things that i love about it and then three things that i would change so let's dive right in all right we're going to start on the camp side of this unit uh you probably won't see me a whole lot on camera on this one because i'm working alone today i think you'll be pleasantly surprised at all the features so just starting here right at the back bumper you can see we've got our stabilizer and we've also got a bumper that you could store your hose your sewage hose in which is awesome um We've got some nice solid steps and you'll notice that they are sitting on the ground and so you're not going to rock the trailer when you're going in and out which is great and got the nice grab handle uh, not a friction hinge but it does have the little holder so that if you want to keep it closed that'll prevent the wind from grabbing it and, and doing anything uh, we've got a furnace or stove or some kind of exhaust here and of course, we've got our two 120 volt plugs, which is great. Um, standard feature on most campers, but something that you don't always see at this price point and at this weight point is a propane quick connect right here as well. So you're gonna be really able to set up a really cool uh, campsite here on the campsite. Uh, you'll notice that we also have a big awning and uh, you can see it covers almost the entire uh, width of the trailer. So that's going to give you some great coverage, going to allow you to cook in the rain and with that propane quick connect, you know, really nice feature for, especially for such an inexpensive trailer, for sure. Uh, we've got another stabilizer here as well. And coming around to the front, we've got our single propane tank and we've got a manual tongue jack. I'm sure you could upgrade that if you wanted to. And we do have a battery disconnect switch built right in, which is awesome. So when you go into storage or you're just leaving it for a few weeks, uh, you don't have to worry about it draining your battery. You can just disconnect it very easily and quickly right here up at the front. So that's a nice feature to have. And coming around to this side and got another stabilizer and check out the storage. I mean, wow, amazing. So you've just got a massive amount of storage. And uh, that's almost too much storage. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to fill that completely. Is put a lot of weight up at the front of the trailer. We've also got another stabilizer here. And coming along the side here, you can see that we have our cable connection right there. And we also have the electrical 30 amp hookup right there. A nice setup and down here we've got our dump station very accessible it's gonna be easy to get at um, so I really appreciate that sometimes you know they go too deep under the trailer so this one is right out in the open um, and here we go we've got our stabilizer again and on the back we've got our utility type stuff so this unit does come with an outdoor shower. You've got your fresh water and city water connection here. And here's our furnace, or probably, actually that's probably the hot water heater. So, um, you know, a really nice trailer. You got a full size spare back here as well. I can see it says camera prep up there. So I don't see the little black thing though, but it might be prepped for camera as well. And I'll ask Keith and I'll put it up on the screen as to whether it is or not. Then we're back to this side. So what I can see on the outside of this trailer is that it's basically everything that you would want, you know, at a great price point. We will talk about that price point at the end of the video. So coming in from the outside, right on your left, you've got the bathroom right at the entrance, which is nice when you're uh, 
coming in from your outdoor activities just to use the facilities it's right at the door which is a always a good place for it to be you can see we've got a nice medicine cabinet here and a mirror and we've also got an actual shower so this is a dry bath and that is awesome i would love to have a dry bath in my trailer um, just you know when you take a shower and a wet bath and the toilet gets wet everything is wet and you got to dry it off and uh, i really like the placement of the toilet as well so you're gonna have lots of elbow room uh, when you're sitting on this one there is a fan in the bathroom as well so you've got your skylight and fan uh, put together and let's do our infamous height test and see can a six foot man take a shower in here and well my head is in the skylight if if i go here um it's just a little bit shorter than what i would want it to be but having said that even if i didn't have the skylight i'd be fine in here and with the skylight it's going to be great decent amount of space not a not a massive amount but because this is a shower curtain um you know if your if your arm hits it it's just going to go out a little bit and uh, you're still going to have the space that you need to take your shower so shower approved so in behind the bathroom here we've got our bunks and they each have a light which is great so and they're actually a little bit wider than some bunks like this that i've seen so i like the fact that there's some good space there for the kids uh, i also like the fact that i don't believe these are six feet long but if you had a tall person they haven't put a wall here that would block their feet from hanging off the end of the bed and so that's going to allow a taller person to sleep here um, in a pinch which is great uh, but nice bunks i like the lighting as well which is great we do have a window air conditioning unit i've heard in the comments some of my other videos that folks in the south uh, in the u.s find that these may not have enough horsepower to cool something like this in the really really hot weather that you guys get but uh, i think for up here in canada this is going to be perfect and probably you also have the option of swapping it out for a more powerful one if you wanted to so right below here you notice you've also got quite a bit of storage up there and then below that storage you've got a nice dinette uh, it's kind of a two-person or maybe a sort of probably uh, with small kids you could cram four but i think we're really going to call that a two-person one so i just popped the cushion off here just to see if there was storage underneath the dinette and sure enough there is nice big storage underneath there uh, it's the same on the other side so you've got some extra place to put your your items here so between that front storage underneath the dinette and then all this overhead storage um, you've really got some great storage for such a small trailer and moving along to the back here we've got our bedroom and you can see that we have nice big windows on both sides uh, we've got some storage right beside the bed and the way this is set up even though it's an east-west bed i think that the person on the inside would at least have a fighting chance of getting out this way without having to climb over top of the other person so that's awesome and definitely a, a nice big bed too like a lot very spacious i don't know if it's a king uh, it's a 60 by 74 though according to the plastic that's on it here okay over here we've got our furnace and also the refrigerator switch and very nice balances here um, not not what you would typically see in an rv so i like that just give you a quick look inside the storage here you can see you can you've got hanging storage here so heading over to the kitchen and we've got a nice fridge i believe this is going to be a 12 volt big freezer like two door fridge in a trailer of this price point and size that's awesome got a nice big storage here you could just get those little things that go across to kind of block it off and you could kind of divide it up however you wanted you've also got storage below the fridge as well lots and lots of space in there you've got a two burner stove and a double sink it's plastic um, but hey this is a camper i mean when i think of the stuff that we used when we were tent camping we would kill for that sink it's awesome uh, lots of storage up here as well okay nice residential style tap looks almost the same as the one in my kitchen <laughs> and you got a nice little cubby here to keep some things we've got a nice little drawer
And under the sink here, some more great storage. Excellent. Just take a look at these cabinets over top of the uh, dinette. Very nice size, not super deep, but definitely a very useful, usable size. And uh, I will say as well that the hardware, the way these things are closing, the facing of the cabinets seems to be a very nice quality. And again, you see those nice valances over the window. So really, uh, like I'm surprised, honestly, at what I'm seeing in here. Even just the quality of, you know, when they have these seams. I've been in a lot of other RVs where these are, you know, not, don't really fit well and so on. These are nice, they match the decor, and they're well installed as well. So looking at this fridge, I mean, it's a fantastic size for a trailer of this size, but it's 12 volt. And in the past, I've always been a little leery of that. Um, I kind of, you know, ours has the, the two-way, it runs on propane or on 120 volt. Um, and, you know, with a 12 volt, I mean, you've got to make sure if you're boondocking that you've got enough battery. So this one does actually have solar on the roof, which is going to be really important with that 12 volt fridge. So you've got your solar charge controller here. I don't know what the exact amount of solar is, so I will put that up on uh, the screen for you. But I really love the fact that if you're going to give me a 12 volt fridge, I think you need to give me the solar package. And on this trailer, that's exactly what they've done. All right, folks, well, we're going to try to do the wrap up of this walkthrough of the Sunset Park RV Sunlight 19BH LTD. I've had a lot of airplanes and trucks going by, so here we go. This is about take four. Three things that I love about this trailer, features and design. So that's the first one. Um, just, you know, it's got all these features that you wouldn't necessarily expect at this price point. A propane disconnect, solid steps, the way the bunks are designed so that a tall person could actually sleep in them, a dry bath. A dry bath is amazing at this price and, and at this size and weight. So lots of great features. And really, I think what I'm getting at with this features as one of the top three things that I like is that this trailer is ready to go. Buy it, go camping. You don't have to modify anything. So I had to play around with solar and stuff on my trailer. This thing is ready to go. So that's awesome. And that's my first like. The second one is value. And so you're getting all these great features and all this design at a price point that you just wouldn't expect. So the MSRP on this thing is 26,900 Canadian. I'll put the US price up on the screen as well. And that's as of December, 2023. So remember that pricing these days changes all the time, uh, but that's what it is right now at the time of filming. Uh, that represents great value given that you're getting things like a solar panel and a 12 volt fridge, plus all of those neat features that I talked about earlier. The last thing that I'm going to use for the, you know, the third thing that I like is build quality. And I was not expecting this to be one of the top three things, but going through the trailer, I just was impressed by the way it was put together and I wasn't expecting that. So, you know, the way that cabinets close, the way that doors line up, um, just the clean design, the nice valances, uh, the way the seams are, are covered on the ceiling inside, just little things like that, that I'm really impressed by the quality of them. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. And at this price and with these amount of features, you thought that maybe there might be some shortcuts. Now, caveat is that I've never owned one of these and I'm not really familiar with Sunset Park RV as a brand, but I'll tell you that going through the walkthrough, I was impressed by the build quality. Now, three things that I would change. And I would say that I was struggling a little bit. I really had to think about this to come up with three things. Um, and the first one is, is, could almost go over into the light category, which is weight. Now, uh, this is very light for what it is and for this style of trailer. It's only 28, 2,880 pounds, and the hitch weight's only 320 pounds. So I could tow this trailer with my car. Be tight, but I could do it. And, uh, you know, wouldn't be able to load it up or use all of the uh, cargo capacity by any stretch, but uh, it would be doable. And uh, so on that front, it's probably a positive, but I always, you know, I, I love to have a trailer where I can keep the dry weight kind of around 2000 pounds, but you're not going to get these kind of features and do that at the same time. So take that as a positive or a negative, whichever one you want. Um, I wish the pass through was a pass through, like it went through both sides. This is nitpicking though. Um, that's not going to have any significant impact on your enjoyment of this camper. So, but uh, I had to come up with three things, right? Uh, the last one, and it's, it's something that I always mention, which is I'd prefer if it had independent suspension. Now that's something that would uh, not 
really coincide with the great price point which is so we've got the leafs there's nothing wrong with the suspension on this trailer but if you do have that independent suspension can smooth out the ride and just uh, these trailers go through quite a beating behind our cars and if you have independent suspension that can help a little bit with just keeping things under control overall though really impressed by the value the build quality and the design of this trailer and so if you're looking for a lightweight trailer and you've got a family and you want to go camping uh, this gives you a much lower price point than some of the trailers that we've looked at in the past and i don't think that you're really sacrificing much if you've got a vehicle with 4,000 to 5,000 pounds of towing capacity this could be a great fit and i'd recommend that you make it a part of your shopping uh, research so with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, hit like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. We'll be bringing more of these to you in the future and we'll see you on the next one. Day Hiker from the Six, out. All right, guys, we're, uh, we're just waiting for a plane to go by. The joys of doing YouTube. So, but that's great value. You're getting everything that you could possibly want here.